evening guys and welcome to SRA Sad Car Revival Division 2 at from Pekiza. Sadly load shedding playing a major ma wreaking major havoc on the entry field as we see the guys going to grid. Um, from the 20 drivers plus that we've had entered, only nine able to show. Looking at the qualifying results, Andrew Stunder taking pole there from Conor Bastrom, expecting to fly off the line in that BMW, which is very, very quick. Uh, Ryan Pay in another BMW taking third place, so they might get a, make it a BMW 1 2, if I'm correct, uh, Mike. Yep, definitely looks like it. We know the BMW uh, is quick off the line, so it should be interesting to see what happens. And then Cleo who's added yet more cement to the back of the Audi. Yeah, I'm just looking at the mix. So we've got some Vectors, a uh, lonely Toyota and a lonely Audi. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a full field of uh, three BMWs, one Audi, one Toyota, and the rest is all Opel Vectras. Should be interesting. They're all revving up, they're going for the line. I'm staying with the BMW of Ryan Fay. And as we said, all three BMWs take a one, two, three. They're just so strong off the line. Cleo Pass in the audio has got four by four. I forgot uh, about him, he moves into third. Fantastic on the uh, launch there from Cleo. The Andrew Stadler immediately into the lead, followed by Ryan Pay, Cleo Passahula in third. And in fourth place, that's the third BMW of Justin. Oh, and I think we've got a bit of a off there, that's Oder Bergstrom from, from second place on the grid. He's just uh, lost it, he's lost out big time there. And it's going to cost him a lot of time having to reverse, get a point in the right direction. Andrew Stadler running away with it at this, this time of, of Christ, on the opening lap. I must say, it seems as though the BMWs are very good on this track. Eh? They were, they, the, the track does suit them, yes. They really love this track and they're also quick on swat cops as well. And we see Cleo, uh, Cleo Pasahula, sorry there for interrupting Mike, but Cleo is right on the tail of Ryan Pay. So will he, will he make a move or how's this battle going to end up? I see Cleo's got the same setup as he used for the last uh, race with the front of the vehicle <laughs> raised. <laughs> as I said, I think he's got his mother-in-law in the back. And the reason he's going so fast now is she's busy clawing away out of the boot and getting to him. So he's trying to go faster to get away from her. That, get away from her. That's not going to work. He's putting a lot of pressure on the on the BM. We, we know now the BMW, the tires do wear pretty quick from what we saw in Div 1. And the Audi, which is 4x4, I reckon we might see Cleo coming right at him towards the end of the race. So also, if you note the, the lines that uh, Clio is taking versus what the BMW is taking, is definitely uh, due to the, the different draft train. Yeah, it's definitely running either, a completely different line there. It's either that or you could have outbroke yourself uh, on that corner. Uh, no, but it looks like most of them. He, he's not following the, the BMW. Look there. <laughs> Interesting. I think, I, think it's, I think he's trusting the four-wheel drive system yes. whereby you can yes. actually accelerate better out of the corner than, than the BM. So the fact that he's taking a wider line, probably he's got that confidence from the from that 4x4 four four or four-wheel drive system. Well, the, strangely enough, in this race, except now for the one incident where we saw Kondor Bastrom go off and, and lose a lot of positions from second. Um, the Vector seems to be falling away a bit here. And it yeah, was the same guys in, in Def 1. They were quick, but they weren't right up there as they were in the first two, two tracks. Yeah, it's, oh. That, I think, is, yeah, that is uh, Brandon Roberts chasing hard after Rudolf Hoch and almost losing it there. But very well held, eh? Yeah, he kept it together there. Oh, and it's off again. So, I think he might have cooked those tires a bit, and now he's, he's he hasn't got the, the same grip as Rolf in front of him, and he's over pushing uh, the car. It's, uh, it's, it's either that or his uh, tire pressures aren't correct for the track conditions. A lot of people said that the Vectras are very sensitive to to, to, to the wrong tire pressures, and we yes. saw it in that one as well. Robis, I mean, one yes. off, and he was all over the place. Yes. 
and they normally only come in after the, the second lap. Oh, on oh. two wheels by Rudolf Hoch. So he's really pushing it. He's trying to keep Brandon Roberts behind him. Tyler Scott. Oh, I thought it was Brandon Roberts. Sorry, Brandon Roberts is running way back. That's newcomer Tyler Scott. It's only his first race in the chat cars. Putting a lot of pressure there on Rudolf Hoch. Sorry, I had the names completely wrong there with the cars looking exactly the same. I was just just stay back just now. That was a yeah, cardiac moment. Was uh, two wheels off. <laughs> I have a feeling that uh, Tyler Scott's tires might have been too hot. That's why he was uh, losing grip on the rear. But it looks like he's got it under control now. Tires must have cooled down. He's, he's going hard at Rudolf Hoch. Not sure what's going to happen here. They side by side. He takes the line. He runs wide again. Oh, same mistake. Yeah, exactly the same. Oh, I think he's either a bit hard into that corner or he's set up just the rear goes and he can't hang onto it. I these think cars, he went a bit too hard in that corner. Mm. These cars do tend to slide out at the back and they haven't got that much uh, <laughs> steering angle. So if you lose it, yeah. you're a passenger. Yep, and now he's, he's going to run Ooh, off. Uh, oh, no. the Dirty tires, everything. <laughs> touched the okay. grass too. Back, back, back to the fight yeah, for second place. On. The dice between Cleo and Ryan Pay is now allowed Justin for middle to catch right up, so clear who down a BMW sandwich there. Yeah. It just shows what dominance the BMW has on this track. It's uh, top four is three BMs. They were very quick here, for sure. Um, it, it should be interesting on swat courts. I know the Mondeo is very quick there, but the BMW is not slow there either. So I think that's going to be a humbling of event. Oh, Cleo's taking the inside. I, 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 was just about to, I was just about to say, if I know Cleo, Cleo's smiling from ear to ear at the moment. Oh, he'll be happy now. Mm. Can he hang on to the move to the fast right hand? Oh, I know the BM is very quick there. The other, the other BM is becoming a threat as well. Oh, that's bumper oh, to bumper oh. stuff. Some edge of your seat uh, racing here. Ryan Pay just doing enough to get Cleo back behind him. All the way, Justin Vermeulen is waiting for one little mistake from Cleo and he's going to take third place. That, that out is very tight through the corners, eh? It really sticks to the track. Mm. It's pity he didn't, didn't grasp a lot of people. Obviously, uh, you know, Cleo's spend some time on it and get a setup at the least that works. A weird setup, but it works. <laughs> well, if you go to the back, Adman Nivert, which I've actually, actually forgotten about him, um, he's not a big fan of Akiza, so he's just mm. taking his time getting around the track and having a jaw. I can, Jay, I can Jay, tell Jay, you one thing, this Karina does not like this track. Uh, I was, I, I was going to say, Jay, there's your uh, namesake. <laughs> uh, this dude. This track and this car is not a good combo. He hates this track. <laughs> and back to the fight for second. I think that's the only place we're going to stick for now. Andrew Stadler currently in the lead. We'll drop over to him quickly, but he's, he's well away. The Jägermeister BMW. I think he's smelling the, the smell of fresh Jägermeister. So he's pushing to get to the checkered flag. <laughs> He must have thrown some Jägermeister in that thing. Could be, could be. <laughs> Highly flammable. Yeah, we see Cleo falling back slightly now, so I'm not sure. Has he maybe cooked the tires? He's, he's put the gap between himself and Camillen as well, so it's also a good thing. The BMW is very fast on this last part, part of the track and, and you can see Justin catching up ever so slightly and then once they go through the first couple of corners, Cleo just pulls away again. So it, it's sort of a concertina effect. Unless one of them makes a mistake, I reckon this is how the results will end. I'm just amazed at how stable this Audi is with Cleo driving. It is. I mean, I tested the car. For me, it was horrible. One thing I can tell you though, Cleo is very consistent with his driving. Yes, so yes. Doesn't matter what car you put in, he's, he's just very consistent. He takes his time around the corners. 
He doesn't rush to accelerate. He's very uh, clinical. He's clinical, yes. Yeah. He's very clinical when it comes to to how he drives and when it's time to push and when it's not time to push. Well, he's going to have to start rushing now because he's losing ground on Ryan Pay. And Justin Vermeulen is still right there to make a move should anything happen. And it does seem like Justin is going a bit quicker at this stage. Um, even though they're both on 37 flat, so there's not much in it. I suspect Cleo might be trying to save tires. They, they should be pretty close to the end now. I mean, this first and second race is only 12 minutes plus a lap, so it goes by quite quickly. But still, Mike, you can see the Audi still seems planted. It's not understeering, it's not oversteering. The BMW is starting to get a bit twitchy there. And there's no smoke coming off the tires as he's conserving it. Uh, this uh, the other BM uh, is definitely going to be a threat still. It's, it just goes through the field quick while these guys try to sort them out. I'm just going to run through them quick. As I said, Anustalo way, way ahead. Ryan Pay in second place currently catching up. Then we've got the battle for third. I think in fifth place we've currently got uh, Rudolf Hoog in the lonely vector there. Tyler Scott trying to make his way back after that massive off. Brandon Roberts, another Victor. So the Victor is really struggling on this track. Um, Herman Niva currently lying in seventh. Uh, the field towards the back pretty much spread out and not, not, not a lot happening there. These guys just stay chasing down the points. So, Jay, the, 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 how neutral is that uh, Toyota? Is it, is it, is it uh, understeery, oversteery? Oh, it oversteers like uh, okay. like this oil on the rear wheel. Right, right. And Justin tried to go for a move there, but sorry for chirping in, but Justin tried to go for a move there, but the BMW got very, very twitchy, so he backed out of it. Mm. It does seem like the BMW yeah, might they, have they, the you, you, can, you can see as he took that left, that right hand there. What I've noticed with the Audi is also it's very stable on the curves, whereby mm. many of the other cars they very um, they're very hard. The yeah, suspension is hard over the curve, uh, but it's the Audi is handling the curve uh, quite well. If you touch the curve, you're gone. And the grass if you terrible. Touch anything in these, you're gone. Uh. Yeah, the guys just these two guys definitely pushing very hard. Um, rest of the field, field pretty much spread out at this stage, so I think we'll stick to these guys till the end because anything could and probably do happen. And if Cleo was here now, I would have said, please don't curse me. <laughs> so you can see Justin is really pushing the BMW, but he's still keeping it very clean. He's, he's not running the curves, he's not sliding, he's not really locking up. Here and there you can see a slight lock up. These BMW is prone to locking up the front very quick. And, uh, but he's keeping it intact. Ryan Pay pushing hard, trying to make some sort of impact on Andrew Stadler, but Andrew is, is gone. Uh, it's, uh, Andrew's at last the field yesterday. Yeah, he's, he's almost a second lap quicker than them. Mm. Uh, he feels really at home at uh, Fakiza, we all know that, and he's always very quick here. And he's, he's shown oh. it today in the first. Oh, and we. BMW is not happy anymore. Yeah, especially when you start seeing the sparks flying out of it. Uh, something happened there that uh, I see Cleo's caught up a bit to the BMW ahead of him. On the, especially on the soft J, the BMW on the last two laps, they get horrible. And and that's why I was su suspecting to Cleo, if he, if he can stick it up there, he might still make an impact on Ryan Pay. Unless Ryan made a slight mistake and lost a second or two. Because Ryan mm. was really pushing hard. Yeah, he was he was quite a gap ahead of him. It seems like they caught up to him a little bit there. Well, that's off to clear. I mean, he's driving good clean race. He's not making any mistakes. The pressure is just not getting to him. He's just keeping his lines, keeping it clean, and keeping Justin Vermeulen behind him. 
Uh, I'm sure we can all agree we've raced against Clear before and he's a full cool editor. He uh, doesn't give in to pressure. The amount of he's, he's got on his head, he should be cool headed. <laughs> As we go, I think Andrew Stadler getting very close to the last lap now. He's, I mean, guys, he's about 10 seconds ahead of the rest of the pack, so uh, he's, he's completely run away with this one. Got it in the back, he hooked it up, and he's left the pack fighting for the rest. Yeah, he's slowing it's, down. It's, 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 it was quite interesting. I actually saw him trail breaking there just now. The back glass came on, off, on. You can see them. He's obviously using the pedals. <laughs> he's definitely using those pedals, and he's enjoying uh, them for sure, that we can see. Uh, looks like it's almost done. So Ryan Pay, I think that is the end of it, Ryan Pay. I reckon coming forth for the for the finish now. Cleo hanging on to that third place. Yep, that is the end of it. And uh, Cleo, well done team, taking third place. Ryan Pay in second. Justin Vermeulen taking fourth. Rudolf Hoog, the first uh, Opel Victor coming home there in fifth place. Conor Bergstrom fighting his way back from last. Right up to sixth place, so some valuable points for him there. I think he is actually leading the series. I'm not sure there. And then Herman Nivert home in seventh place in the sprinter, followed by it's Tyler Scott and Brandon here. Roberts. So Jay? Herman actually caught up to that Victor. Mm. It was quite a distance away. Uh, the, the Victors really weren't happy. I mean, we know Grobis is extremely fast and he was struggling on this track with it. He was he was sitting and commentating with us on, on Monday and he said the tires on this just didn't work on this track. It, 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 no matter what he did to the setup. Well, second race is going to be quite interesting seeing as there's so many Victors uh, starting from the front. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to take a quick breather and uh, we'll be right back with race two then. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to race two. Division two, that car revival brought to you by SRA at Fikiza here. Full reverse grid now. So we've got Andrew Stadler, got his, he's got his work cut out to get to the front of the field. Next to him, Ryan Pay in a, and then Cleo Pass Ahula in the Ori. Now, these three cars will be extremely fast off the line. And I reckon turn one is gonna be quite close. Uh, see Herman Nivo there in the printer coming under fire from 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 the rest of the BMWs. <laughs> and the vectors are very slow off the off the ground. They do tend to bog down and just spin mm. everything away. If uh, Herman can get a good start, I know the Karina is quite good on the on the pool. Not not very good, but it's decent. Up on with, and you can immediately see the, no. the two BMWs, they all oh, very wow. close the line. And wow. it's, it's a, again, Cleo Pass going for the lead here. <laughs> oh, Cleo, go Cleo. Oh, and uh, then, uh, that looks like Ryan Pay. Ryan yeah, Pay, Herman Nivo. So Justin Vermeulen already off in the BMW. That's Justin, yeah. yeah. As well as that would be newcomer. Yeah. Scott Thomas going off with him, so sorry, Tyler Scott, Tyler Scott, my bad. Tyler, Tyler, yeah. But we're going back to the lead, so Cleo also has lost the lead to Rudolf Hoch, I think. Oh. So we missed a uh, bit there going but, back to the replay. Uh, but I think it's not going to, it's, it's gonna, not going to be long. Well, we can see Andrew Stadler now attacking Cleo, but so he's going to have to make the BMW uh, already very wide because Andrew is quick and Andrew is not going to hang, hang about in passing him under a very good driver, very quick on the oval track. And he's going to make use of those oval skills to get, get past clear as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, Andrew, Andrew also is very much opportunist. If he sees a gap, you know, they, they exactly what I'm talking about. So, uh, Andrew is actually in fourth place. So, currently in the lead, I just want to see who we have had in the lead. Oh, at this stage, currently leading is Brandon Roberts. And he runs Ooh. wide. It seems and like right. it's a problem there with those cars. Oh, that's right, Tender. <laughs> so as said, Andrew Stadler has passed clear and he has taken the lead, which we expected right pretty much from the beginning. So clear currently in second. Third place is Rolf Hoog in the first Vectra. 
seems like I did some tweaking to the setup because he is right up there with him. And then we have got Connor Bergstrom in the only yellow uh, vector there. So that's going to make it a bit easier to, to know who's who. Ryan Pay currently running in fifth. Doesn't seem as happy as he did in race one. So I don't know if the track has changed or the setup has changed, but you can see him locking up the car, looking a bit nervous. Yeah, it's either that or he's just trying very, very hard to try and get up. Yeah, I was just about to say that, Mike. It looks, it looks maybe like he's trying to push mm -hmm. a bit no, harder he's, to he's, get he's, up. He's, like he's overdriving. That's what he's doing. Justin Vermeulen at this stage not making impact. He's got his work cut out after that off in the first corner. You can see him really pushing the BMW, going into the yeah, understeer yeah, yeah. there. Um, that's just horrid, horrid, horrid understeer, that one. With, with the times being so close, actually, we know by now, if there isn't any mistakes at the front, you're just not going to make it back. So the field pretty much spacing out now. Andrew Studley in first in the Jagermeister BMW. Cleo Pasehula in second. Rudolf Hoog in third. Oh, Rudolf goes sideways. So Rudolf is really pushing this Astra and he's being caught by Connor Bergstrom in the second Astra. Uh, Melbourne, I don't know if uh, Cleo will be able to catch Andro from here. Um, Once um, Andro gets that first place, he's gone. Uh. I mean, what what I would do is just, you know, if, if I'm not under threat, uh, just kind of all stations get uh, work on points. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the same thing. I mean, especially with the field being as low as it is with the load shedding going on, um, you want to get some valuable points. Yeah, you actually score sometimes too. <laughs> you do, you do. So like it's like you're entering a race, you don't have enough money to enter the race. <laughs> you have to sit and watch. <laughs> so Conor Bergstrom has actually moved up into third place now. And I reckon he will catch up with Cleo. Looking at the lap times, um, he's about half a second quicker than than Cleo at this stage. So uh, His car seems a lot more stable uh, than it did the first round. Yeah, a lot. His car seems a lot more stable than other victories as well. Mm -hmm. Some maybe some settings that he changed or something on, uh, before the second race. He is really on a move. He's, he's going very quick and he's already going. He's, it's going to be a matter of seconds because he before he is going to make a pass on Cleo. Um, yeah, but Cleo, Cleo can. Uh, uh, I, I, I was again. going to. I was just going to say he can, Cleo can make a car wide, and it's yeah. the same right. It's the uh, same right hander. Same right hander, so that mm. we're gonna call that corner vector corner. I, I do mm. believe <laughs> <laughs> we've seen all the vectors go off there up to now. But it looks like he um, was a bit too wide in that corner because Cleo had the inside. So I think he was a bit cautious there and he didn't want to hit Cleo, so obviously he went wide. And as I soon as he touched that curb, it was gone. I think Cleo catches the guys out with the amount of grip he has. And, and they think they can run on the outside, and Audi is just so grippy through the corners that they, they lose out there. Yep. Definitely. So we have lost one of the cars here. I'm still trying to figure out who it is. Um, at this stage, it looks like, yeah, Brandon Roberts sadly retired from the race, so lost one car there. And, uh, I know some of the guys uh, with the load shedding, they, 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 they it's a lottery, so they do actually start the race, and sometimes the load shedding kicks in before they manage to actually finish the heat. So. We've seen it plenty of times now. Mm. And now we see Cleo coming under attack from Rudolf Hoch. So, for some reason, the vectors in race two seems very quick compared to race one. And, oh, and they're all going sideways. I wonder if they've got less grip here, because it is a bit dark, it is a bit lighter. And I think the track, track might be different. I think... Probably uh, threw them a curveball here when he set up the server. He said Probably. there might be some surprises. I mean, the, the, the Audi was you, be, all over the place because, like this. No, no, yeah, even, even as I was going to say, Kia is also uh, doing some very uh, double apexing on, on the corners. You see there, it's, it's, it's like, you see there? He is struggling with it for some reason. Mm. And, and now the Astros do seem a bit faster, but Ryan Pay now in turn is catching up with 
Robert Hoog, so it, it's all to play for the stage. Andrew Sadler, if he can just keep his head clear and keep an open head, keep it clean, get to the end, he'll, he'll, definitely, he'll make it two out of two for sure. Yeah. I, mean, you can I, don't, think, I, I, I don't think anybody's got to answer for him yet, to be honest. Yeah. Clear is about him. Oh, and that's ah! the BMW's curse. <laughs> He's lost it into the barriers. What, what, was, that, what, what, was that or was that not a commentator's curse? That was a commentator's curse. <laughs> And I can tell you, when that happens in this car, it's horrible. It happened to me in race two as well. Same corner, same move. You've got nothing to do. It's got so little turning angle, your passenger. It's got all that work to do. So this is actually allowed Cleo into the lead. I was going to say, oh, Cleo's leading here. So obviously, he, he, he would, he'll pick up soon that, that Andrew's off. Yeah, he would have now. I mean, he would have saw him beside the yeah. track and all of this going off and sliding and losing time has allowed Herman Niva up into fourth place in the Toyota which is not bad at all considering the car hits this track. Yeah. But, but you're coming under a lot of pressure here Jay. Um, yeah he's, he's uh, but Cleo just needs to stay level headed and just uh, drive his, his way protect the inside line as best he can and conserve the tires also as well. Very interesting race going on here. Ryan Payne turn catching up. Alman Nivard right up there in fourth place. Very good race from him indeed. Andrew Studler now having to fight from fifth place. And Justin Vermillion who was in fourth just now has gone down to sixth. So he's also gone off somewhere along the line. Back to the fight for the lead, clear, keeping that Astra of Rudolf behind him, but Rudolf pushing really hard and he is not going to back off until he's right on the tail of that Audi. Clear almost sort of, he, he kind of throws it into the corner. Eh? It's as he, okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's as if the car is either understeering or it's, it's just hasn't uh -huh. got the grip that it had in race one. And now Ryan Pay catching Rudolf over very quick, so... And then right behind them, Andrews fighting his way back from behind and catching up to Herman Niva. So we've got uh -huh. two battles we've got to keep our eyes on. Andrews made some, some ground up there. Oh, and Herman locks up big time there, so Andrew might be able to cut on on the inside. So this is becoming Herman, now in turn is catching Ryan Pay, so... <laughs> it's... It, it's Getting closer and closer by the minute. I think the final two laps here is going to be very interesting on this, based on, on where they are now. Oh, and Ryan Pay has lost it. The oh, rear end dear. of Ryan Pay just, it just gave way on him. Is that the same corner as, as earlier? That, that no, is no, no. turn one, no, no that is turn no, one. That's turn so. one, that's turn one, yeah. So Ryan losing out big time there, had a good run and pushing very hard seeing he was catching the guys in front of him and he just lost out there. So back to the lead, Cleo still under immense pressure uh, from <coughs> Rudolf Hoog. Uh, the vector behind is getting a little bit uh, reggy. Well all of this I do believe has put Andrew right up into third place because it does seem he has, he's also passed both Andrew and Justin have passed Herman, so in that spin off, Herman Niva also lost some time. So it, it basically changed the route within a couple of corners. Uh, collateral damage, eh? <laughs> Clear pushing that Ori hard, you can see him straight into the corners. Rudolf is not holding back either. He can smell victory and he's going to go for it. I definitely think uh, if Clear just stays level headed, this race is easy. No, I don't think it's, it's going to be very difficult to pass with the vector that is. Yeah, unless he makes a mistake, it's going to be mm. hard work to get past him because he's got so much grip. It does seem like the Audi is settling down now and it's handling a bit better or I'm just fooling myself. No, definitely. Uh, no, the closing. Definitely is, yes. You see that, that left-hander? Just look at that. 
I reckon the temperature on the track might have changed. The grip levels was different. Andrew now coming from behind. He is pushing really, really hard. Um, he's down to 136.1 at this stage compared to the rest at 137.1s and 136.9s. <coughs> Justin Vermeulen also quick, he's on a 136.4, so for somehow the, the track has changed and it, the, the tyres are coming, or the grip is coming to the BMWs again now. So 136 is the same times as Div 1 were doing? That is the exact same times they were doing. Mm -hmm. so Andrew basically running Div 1 times in the second heat now. Um, he is pushing hard. I hope he does not make another mistake, because that's going to cost him dearly, but uh, he's not going to back off if he can smell victory for sure. He's like... Yeah, Andrew's Andre, got that uh, philosophy, the race is only won in the last lap. He's, he's like the little Danny van Rooyen of SRA. Yeah. Win or nothing. Yeah. Oh, and Rudolf getting it sideways there again, so... The Astro doesn't like that corner at all. We see mm -hmm. every single lap with every single car. And, as we said, Andrew uh, goes off again. Shame. Uh, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Andrew was pushing a bit too hard. He was pushing uh. really, really hard. So that, that opens the field up again big time. I'm intrigued to stay with this battle. Was so the Karina, the, the oh, Toyota once Cleo, again is in third. Cleo has gone off. Oh, no. Cleo, Cleo, Cleo has lost the lead. So Rudolf Hoog. On only his fourth race, I believe, he has taken the lead in Division 2, race 2. Is that again a first corner incident? A first corner incident. I think he made a mistake. Yeah, he, he just lost he it. Up on the the turn, yeah, I think. So all of this now has allowed Justin Vermeulen, who had a horrible race to start, to come all the way from the back up into third place. Now, I would call that luck. Mm. And consistency, obviously. I think Cleo went too high up on the on that yes. first corner curb and, and that's where how he lost it. I think yeah, as soon as, well. as, as soon as it lost grip, he just went yeah. So Justin in, in in currently in third place now. Andrew has actually made up some spaces and he's back to fourth place, followed by Connor Bergstrom in fifth and Herman Nivert in sixth. Now this, if it stays the same. I'm pretty sure that uh, Rudolf Hoog is now on his final lap. You can see Cleo not giving up. He is still no, going for he's, it. He's, he's on the hunt. He's definitely on the hunt. But I'm pretty sure this is the last lap. And Rudolf Hoog, if he keeps it clean through his last corner, is going to take his first ever victory with SRA. Closely followed by Cleo. I can promise you he's kicking his own ass now. <laughs> Yeah, and they've done it. Rudolf out there taking the one, followed by Cleo. Well done, well done. Third place well then. Done, Rudolf. I would, I want to say drive of the race to Justin Vermeulen, who came from the back, kept his head clean, kept out of trouble, and got third mm. place there. Fourth place then, twice off track, pushing too hard. Andrew Stadler. This shows you you can be quickest, but it doesn't mean you're gonna win. Yeah. The smoke pouring out of the car there. I thought, I thought he was gonna do some donuts for us. So uh, I'll uh, short break guys and then we're off to the main race which is uh, a full 15 minutes plus a lap and then the tyres really do suffer. Welcome back guys, third and final race of Division 2 brought to you by SRA at Fakiza. Yeah, we were just quickly talking about the grid and uh, currently we've got Andre Stadler on first, second Rudolf Hoog in the Vectra, third Cleo Pasahula in the Ori <coughs> and fourth Ryan Pay in the BMW. Now, as you said now, Mike, the BMW is very quick off the line as well as the Audi. So Rudolf is going to have his work cut out for him and we might see a very interesting first corner. <coughs> it's going to be interesting to see if Cleo uh, gets the jump on this BM, seeing that they are so quick off the line as well. Cleo, Cleo is inherently quick, uh, irrespective of what he's sitting in. We're going to try and go to the car of Rudolf Hoog there. You guys good and uh, and see what happens as they pull off the line. So Rudolf right behind the BMW of Andrew Stadler. He's got no chance of catching Andrew. We know that BMW is going to fly, but what's going to happen between Cleo and the Vectra here? And you can see the Vectra just struggling. The 
and the BMW Ryan Bay dropping right up that into second place. BM, that, that BM just took off like a rocket. So again, Cleo running a very tight line and staying on the inside of Ryan Bay. But now Ryan has got the inside for the next corner. I see Justin Vermeulen. Is that Justin Vermeulen that's also now in fourth? Justin Vermeulen from right at the back coming up to fourth. Cleo going for a dive on the inside of Ryan Bay there. So Cleo's fighting. He's not giving up. He's going mm -hmm. on down, daunting, hunting these beamers. Sorry. <laughs> Another interesting battle to... Oh, oh! And Ryan, not sure if that was a tap or if Ryan just lost it there. That's very difficult to judge that one. That would have been the suspension. Oh, and Cleo's pulled uh, over. So they did okay. touch and he's allowed Ryan to pass him again. Right. Gentlemen, you think? Definitely the right thing to do. So this has allowed Amru Stadler on the first lap to immediately... It's going to be a walk in the park for him. Unless... Unless... Commentator goes, he spins off again. But I highly doubt, I think he's learned his lesson and he is just gonna try and bring it home. Justin Vermeulen moved up to, into second through all of this, and Conor Bastrom, I haven't seen too much of him this evening. He is very quick, but he's struggling a bit with, with, with consistency. Currently running in third place. Can he keep it there? We see one of the Red Astros going wide. That is the car of Rudolf Hoog, who actually won race two. So if he keeps it together, we might see him coming through the field again. And again, both Astros are running wide. Yeah, that's a copycat rule. You know the copycat rule, the car goes off in front and you follow him. You do follow. <laughs> so Adamant right up there with the two Astros. Two BMWs long gone. They are pulling away slowly, but surely. So it's going to be a battle currently at this stage for third place between Robert Bergstrom, Rudolf Hoog and Herman Nibot. Oh, and Rudolf running it wide again. It, it, it seems like he's struggling with traction the first couple of laps and then the car yeah. just comes to him. Yeah, that's why I said it's only the, the two laps. The out lap is, is not, not good at all. Well, that, that has shown, especially, and the pull away as well. It's just horrible off the line. Yeah. But it, it locks up the rear and then the rear just steps out and that allows, whereas if you look at Connor, he's not locking, locking up at the back at all. No. So that's a bit of a setup tweak there that. It's either that or he's got bias to the rear. To obviously, try and get the car to turn. Turn in. Yeah. Not running a lot of camber at the front, so yeah, that wouldn't have that. It might struggle with a bit of. And again, the rear just oh, steps okay. out. Well, this Jay, Edmund uh, seems to have found something with this Karina working yeah, here. Yeah, I oh, know this, this Toyota is all over him. Definitely looks like he's uh, found some sort of setup that uh, is working for him. Yeah, it's a lot, lot more comfortable, eh? A lot more at ease. Oh, he's just getting used to the car track combo now. And uh, Edmund not slaying the ovals at all. So bringing that oval skill to the circuit tracing. Oh, and we see Rolul for another mistake there from them. So that's pressure from Herman. Yeah, uh, that's pressure. The wily old man is possibly hey, going to move up there, and he does it. Herman makes a clean look move on that. him. Oh, a little, uh, little bit of a shun there. Uh, rubbing is racing. Rubbing is racing. And we <laughs> see Connor catching up to Justin now. So another interesting battle unfolding at the front there. Just got to pop over there for a bit. It's not as close yet, so we'll just keep our eye in the distance on that. And uh, we'll go back to the battle between Nibot and Rudolf. So, Hoog has fallen bit back a bit. Herman has surely got this car dialed in for this last race. Herman has definitely found something with this car. I think he was giving a call. <laughs> Almost running wide there. I don't, I don't think you want to do that with Karina on this track. No, definitely not. The Herman currently in fourth. Um, Unres, as we said, we've forgotten about him. He's long gone. He is well ahead of the pack. So, oh, we see Connor again. Connor spinning off the same corner. I think that's the fourth or fifth time that that's happened to him. So losing two positions, that has pushed Herman up into third place. I, I say this, the Toyota sitting third now. That's fantastic. So he'll be quite delighted with that position. 
And now he's got his eyes. surprising for me. <laughs> I see you're dead quiet now. You're st trying to figure out what he's done. So Justin Vermeulen there currently in second place. Although I might add that the, the, the third race, uh, even for me, the, the conditions were more favorable than the first and the second. As, as Robbie said, he's going to throw a curveball. And uh, I know he adjusted the turbo settings according to the actual weather. And I think that played a massive role on tire temps, the grip levels and everything. And also the scrubbing of the track. But Cleopas, I mean, he's lost big time there. He's just sitting behind Ryan. The guys are so quick now, they can't really make any impact at this stage. Unless there's some sort of uh, incident during the course of the race. Uh, is the Tanru get a, a, a uh, electrical problem? Because I don't see him. No, but he's... Uh, oh, there he is. He's way ahead. I mean, he's going through the second to last corner now and then second place man as it, as it goes onto the main straight you can only you can see Justin only yeah. passing the second to last corner so he's well about five seconds ahead already okay so the church is lying fourth then third place oh it is third I just I just oh you know what's putting me off is the front color of the beam and the rear color rear is different oh uh, okay yeah <laughs> I think it's two different cars and we started the well ahead, Justin Vermeulen in second, and then we've got... Well, this battle is still continuing. Um, Rudolf Hauf definitely, definitely pushing hard and not giving up. And then we've got uh, Bergstrom coming from the back of this little spin the previous lap. And pushing really hard, trying to make up those positions he's lost. Well, it actually looks like Herman might be catching um, Justin a little bit there. Looks like it's slowly but surely. Again, the BMW in this first part of the corner track is not that quick. But as soon as you get to this left hander from there on onwards, the rear wheel drive plays in its five and you can really push it hard. And that's where it pulls away a bit. This little battle closing up by the second, and I think we're gonna to stick to this for now. Sitting with Hanman in the Minolta Sprinter. He's chasing Justin Vermeulen in the red, green, and blue BMW. Hoog then chasing Herman Nivo in, in turn and Bergstrom. Oh, and we see Hoog again going sideways there. This is an Astra thing. And another Astra, so that's definitely Astra Corner. Yeah, it's Astra Corner. Oh, Mike put some oil down there, not sure. No, Mike will spoil the Zekiloni. <laughs> Oh, you might have spilled it here and it spilled further at Kilani. <laughs> so the guys really, they're driving hard. Um, yes, the two BMWs at the front could really stable the Vectras. Lighting a lot. Uh, and Mike, Mike might have paid the, the officials to overlook his oil leak. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see Adam. The, the, the Vectra is very twitchy on the circus, eh? It, it's a, you, you, got, you can't... You can't overcome it because it's, it's going to bite you. And I think that's what's happening here with, with these vectors. Uh, as soon as they start pushing, it just it bites mm. and it bites hard. And because you, because you have basically not, no steering angle, I think it's got something like 17 degrees input. Correct, correct. Once it yeah. goes, you just lose heaps and heaps amount of time. And, and, and also the thing is because the, uh, the width it's narrow. So there's, there's no, you know, the body, the tires are inside the the yes. wheel arches. So you, you know, your your car is not wide, and, and, and you know, so definitely that's what makes it so. Because it's all mechanical grip. Oh, there's no wings and nothing. That you no wings, that, yeah. nothing. But you see, what the problem is, also, you know, um, the the corner after the pass right hand, uh, you can't go in too quick because then that happens. Uh, great. Okay. Yes, you, but, but sometimes you can use it also to your favor on the, on the second uh, right hand after of course, the, break, the of braking. Course, yes. yeah. But then you, your braking has to be on point. On point, 100%. Oh, Bastel was just passed Hoog for third place now, so now he's got his eyes set on Niva. And Niva is, as you said, Jay, he's catching Vermeulen slowly but surely. Every single lap you can see him, he reels in about a calling. 
Uh, that little battle going on going there, and then Vermeeren currently in second, Nivar in third. Hoog. Let's see if he can make an impact on, on Bersom. Bersom we know is quick, but we have seen him go off a couple of times. So let's, let's, let's see what happens from here onwards. Yeah, see the back tires again. Now they look up for nothing. Just, just check um, what I was referring to on the after the corner after the fast right hand. Mm. How um, if you break even slightly too late on that corner, yes, you the back comes out. Again, it just steps out. So the real on this uh, vector is not happy at all. Oh, and Herman again. This, just, this, he's catching. He's catching, and he's catching quick now. Now, on, on the last race, I went for mediums because after 10 minutes, the BMW tires just let go. And I think we passed ah, the 10 he's... minute mark. So now, just so he's he's starting to struggle. Yeah. I see Um Herman is also he's, uh, doing a lot of trail braking. So that could be um, working in his favor here. Yeah. I think his tyres has lasted a lot better as well. <laughs> Very tight line through there. Well, he hasn't put a foot wrong, eh? No, he's been running a perfect race so far. Oh, the other guys are squirrely. He's just, just doing the laps. I and think what Wom Herman is also doing is he's taking his time. He's not pushing it too hard. I think he's in a good position, he knows it, and he's just going for the points currently. I mean, that's the first lockup I've seen from him the entire uh, race. <laughs> it's not cursed, the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all staying in track now. Justin has responded and he started pushing the beamer a bit, trying to pull a gap. Got it catching up with Hermann now, and Rudolf calling back quite some distance now so he's got towards the end not had paid at all and he's losing heaps and heaps amount of time you can see he's falling prey now to Ryan Pay. Mm. you see Herman kind of catching up so Herman also coming under pressure now perhaps from catching up very very quick to Nivot Vermeulen more or less has no, got that gap it's, it's, down it's, now the Victor's doing a do or die. See there? Yeah, he's pushing hard. He's mm. pushing it really, mm. really hard. As I said before, Bastrom, a very quick driver. Still working on his consistency, very new to SRA. And you learn very quick that you've I think got to lift off a bit sometime to get to the end first. I think the do or die corner will be that specific corner for. Or the, the Victor corner, should I say? Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be the door die for him. It's, yes. He, if he sticks it, he might get the, the third place. If not, it's gonna be another tail slapper. Well, he is flying. He is surely extremely quick now. Um, Herman and the immense pressure. All of this is actually. Herman is concentrating a lot to keep him behind now, and this is allowing for Melon to slowly pull away again. So the gap that Edmund has closed down, he's disappearing now within two laps. So is he gonna go for it? Is he gonna go for the move down here? We know the Vectra hates this corner. He does like to step out. Flight down nice. with the brakes there. It actually stays, Edmund keeping a night very, 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 very tight, very tight. He's not making it easy there for for for. Yeah. for that door's that door's not open at all. No, it's shut as can be. <laughs> the Karina looks wide and is actually making it very wide. Now this left hander is a very tricky left hander. Yeah, this left hander is also very tricky. Mm. Yeah, you can gain a lot of time and lose a lot of time. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looks like they're catching up to Justin again. 
They are catching, so Justin might have just got a bit swirly, lost about a second or so, and oh, he looks like he's, he's going for it. Him. He's going for it, and he's made. It. Well, has he no. made it? No. 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 Uh, he's fallen yeah, back. Herman oh, is there. Well done, Herman. <laughs> he's gonna have another go. Oh, uh, a bit of a uh, uh, well too, no? Oh, jeez. And uh, that was well held. That's from Absolutely. wisely backing out of it, not pushing him around there. But this is close racing and they are really on the edge here, so I think we'll stick to this. You see him flashing uh, the lights there, apologizing yeah. 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 Thanks for it, yeah. So we actually lost another car, it seems. It might be the car of Tyler Scott. Uh, let's have a look. Tyler running far at the back, so yeah, not sure what happened there. But we'll stick with this one for now. Andrew, well away. Um, he's 10 Sorry, seconds ahead by now. You see, Herman's also trying to counter. <laughs> he, he is trying to, to, to keep that Vectra behind him. He knows he's coming and he know the, knows the Vectra is quicker. And the race pretty much very close to the end. So this this is going to be all out all out battle to the end. But he goes for the inside. He actually... Erman has got the run on him now and he's on the inside for the next corner, so no, Erman still won't let him pass. I was going to say that that Victor on that line is, you're just going to, you're going to lose. Oh, and Vermeulen went So, lost a lot of time through that corner there. So, Erman now up into second place. This is up a fuel problem. But well, he's still, that, his tires is. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think the. I don't think the tires would have gone to that degree either. Yeah, they it could be to go fuel, very quick. Probably low on on fuel then. Oh. He's trying to get to the end of the race. He's nursing it along. Look like I'm resetting. <laughs> so these two, and all of this is allowed. Drulov have to catch right back up. So it's a four-way battle for second now. Andrew, so far, it is in the next race. Yeah, he's already celebrating. Oh, that's, really oh, that's, oh, that's not going to work. So, but, uh, and Herman oh. loses in the process, so... Oh, no. Hang on to it, Herman. And this, uh, Rudolf oh. Valk jumps on the inside. It's three across oh, the race. This is a photo finish. <laughs> <laughs> that was a duo dive wow. move that we thought we were going to see, and we did see it. Herman still in it. Herman is still third. Herman is still third. Rudolf Hof has come all the way from first place and he's taken second place. Herman takes third place there and Justin Vermeer in fourth place. So, yeah, that was a bit of. Uh, I've no idea what happened to Herman because, but it looks, you know, it's, it just looks just like loss of concentration or something. I've no idea. I think he saw that. Uh, Vectra coming, knowing, knowing the history, and he just wanted to get out of his way, and he lost concentration. Either that, or he got excited. But <laughs> fantastic race by the guys, especially this last one. And uh, even though a lot of guys couldn't make it for the for the final, it was still an epic, epic battle. Well, a lot of guys, some guys having load shedding, not not able to make it, having load shedding, and. Some of the entries unable to even race at all. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for joining. I know you're going into load shedding very soon, Mike, so I'm not going to make it long. Yeah. We'll see you guys soon for the Polo Cup that was run last night, and there as well, some immense battles on Kilani. Very, very close dicing. So yeah, looking forward to that as well. I'm going to power down. Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. Cheers, man.